Hi guys, today we learn about the spiritual interpretation of teeth falling in the dream and the solution. Yes. So, what I'm about to share with you guys today, I followed the principle and I did it and it works. So, I share with others and it works too. And I share with friends and it works too. So, before I proceed, you know what you have to do now. So, subscribe, please. Press on the notification bell, like, and share. When you share this video, that motivates us, you know, to drop more and more and more videos today. So, welcome back. I welcome you back to this great channel, Freedom for the Cactus. Wherever you're coming to watch me from, I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. I'm going to be your host today, your sister, Freedom for the Cactus. In this channel, Freedom for the Cactus, we share about the spiritual tips that we use, you know, to solve some of our spiritual problems. So if you like what we do in this channel, you know what you have to do. So... Spiritual interpretation of teeth falling out in the dream. Yes, many have lost so much valuable and special things after dreaming and not paying attention to the dream and not finding solutions. Dream is one of the means that God, you know, reveals some of the hidden things and, you know, show us about the forthcoming event to us you know, before they happens. But many of us, you know, we do not pay attention, you know, to the dream and thereby having a regret as soon as, you know, the dreams happen. And as soon as that happens, we start having a regret. Meanwhile, God must have showed us this and the solution for us to, you know, do to stop the event before it happens. But many of us, we do not pay attention to that. So, when you dream of your teeth falling out in the dream, you know, it signifies a lot of things. So, I want you to follow us to the end of this lecture today. You will learn a lot, you know, and the solutions on what to do when you dream about your teeth, you know, falling out in the dream and the spiritual implications of them and what you have to do when you dream that kind of a dream. So, you know, teeth falling in the dream, it signifies a lot. Yes, it signifies that you are under spiritual attack. Yes, it signifies lust. Yes, you know, lust of a special thing in your life, you know, lust of control over something special or over something important to you. It might be a loved one. It might be your job. It might also signify death. Yes, losing a teeth in the dream is a, is a painful thing, you know, it's a strange dream that whenever you dream about that, you have to find a solution and you have to do something about that fast before it happens. You know, losing your teeth in the dream that could signify pains, that could signify obstacles, that could signify calamity, that could signify sorrow, that could signify illness. It also serves as a warning or it gives you an insight into a deep internal issues that is about to happen. You know, when you lost your teeth in the dream, it signifies a loss of control over your job, you know, breakthrough, you know, in relations. It could be loss of, uh, uh, you know, breakthrough, break, it could be breakup, yes. It could be loss of breakthrough also in businesses. Yes, it signifies, you know, breakup, you know, in your relationship, in your marriage, in your opportunities. You could, you know, lose a lot of self-worth. Yes, you could lose your self-worth. Yes, it could be a decrease in your spiritual growth. Yes, it could be, you know, someone in your family is about to become ill or something danger is about to happen is about to unfold so what do you do when you have this kind of a dream this is not a dream that you can dream and when you wake up you will say oh, oh, oh this i just had a dream i took just falling off in the dream you you just keep to yourself no this dream 
might lose you something you don't even think of a very big thing around your life a very strange thing might happen that after everything you will leave yourself you know to be sorrowful or you will have re regrets over what has actually happened so immediately you wake up in the morning what i urge you to do is that the solution so what do you do when you have this kind of a dream so immediately you wake up in the morning just get a glass of a glass of water then when you get that glass of water you know add a little pinch of salt on it then when you add a little pinch of salt on it you have to pray you know you have to sanctify the water you have to pray over the water and tell god as you pray you have to read your psalm 24. when you pray you say god you sanctify this water you cancel that dream you have to cancel that dream then you have to tell god that anything any loss about this dream that you are you know returning to be fruitfulness in your life then after that you have to cancel you have to say that any loss that it must be multiplied in your life you tell god what you want just talk to god tell god cancel it any danger coming you return it back to the sender then what you have to do is that you have to you know use another one stick of candle you have to light light, light. so when you light that light when you you know put light on that a candle light on the candle then that signifies the rekindling of life you know you have to rekindle the light of god in your life as that candle is you know lighting you have to talk to god that there is light upon you that god should bring on light upon you so i'm trying to tell you there's another thing you will do after that immediately that candle finishes then that water that you have sanctified you have to drink that water as you're drinking that water that water will flush out any bad dream anything any enchantment any projection that they have done you know through that you losing that treat to losing that treat in the dream so in that water has to flush it out then after that what you have to do is that any denomination of money where you live in you have to get seven pieces of money then that seven pieces of money signifies perfection yes you have to tell god that as you going out to the, the dash out this money that god will perfect every good thing that god has bestowed upon your life that god will perfect it that every loss you return it to be abundant you return it to be multiplied in your life you return it to be faithfulness fruitfulness in your life so what you have to do is that if you get in a note as your spirit directs any amount of money that you want you have to go out and look for where you can see seven beggars then if you cannot get seven beggars you can you know look for three beggars but make sure you share out that seven pieces of money so as you sharing that seven pieces of money if it is coin it must be seven if it is note it must be seven any amount that your spirit can digest that your spirit can ask you to do job or just get a seven pieces of money then give it to do blind beggars so when you go out you have to give it to blind beggars so as you give it to blind beggars you will say god as you giving this to the blind beggars any of your sorrow anything that they projected in your life any enemy of righteousness any where they have made your teeth to fall in or is it true attack is it true anything that you have blind the eyes of the evil ones against your life that you have blinded that they shall never see you no more they cannot see you no more no attack you know bestowed upon your life shall come to you it shall go back to the sender so after praying this after doing this then another thing you have to do is that after sharing them the money you go home then after three days you must have to buy another gift a special gift this one you will go and look for a beggar a, another blind beggar you have to dash out if it is a cloth if it is another thing but if you cannot do that you can go to your church and give thanks offering and thank god believe god and tell god all you want and god will turn that sorrow to be fruitfulness it will turn everything about your life to be goodness and mercies it will be all from mercy to from glory to glory in your life so i want to tell you this if you are doing all this assignment you have have trust in god you must believe in god when you have faith when you have trust and when you believe in god any assignment that you do it must become a successful one and the god of glory will begin 
to deliver you. God of glory will be there to answer you. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by to watch me today. If you like what we do in this channel, please, before you leave, I would like you to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, you know, share among your friends, among your families, among your groups, you know, talk about us, tweet about us in your Instagram, in your Twitter, in your Facebook, talk about us, wherever it is, please talk about us and share us. When you share us, that motivates us, you know, to drop more and more videos. So all I have to say to you is that as you partake in this assignment, may the God of glory bless you, bless you and bless you more abundantly. And all I have to say to you is that I love you, but God loves you the best. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by to watch me today. So from me to you, I say bye until I see you next on my next video. Bye-bye.